They were prohibited from speaking Tagalog and other Filipino dialects. They were threatened with sanctions and some other suspensions, but they are fighting for their immigrant rights. That's up next on Kababai in L.A. America's number one daily talk show for and about the Filipinos. This is Kababai in LA, where today we're going to be discussing the case of some Filipino and Filipino-American nurses working at a hospital. They were prohibited from speaking Filipino. They felt harassed, and they were also uh, threatened with different sanctions. We're going to be talking about that today on the show because we have what we call our immigrant rights. Alamin po natin ang story nila ngayong hapon sa ating programa. And remember, you will hear it first today on Kababai in LA. Kasama po natin dalawa sa mga plaintiffs. But before that, also Tuesday, sinimulan po natin last week ang ating pakikipagkamustahan sa ating mga kababayan sa Pilipinas through Melina Valdez right now also joining us on the phone. Magandang umaga sa'yo, May. Hi, a holy Wednesday to you here, of course, in Manila. Today is Immaculate Conception Day, Feast of the Immaculate Conception. Oh, oh, so most of the Filipinos are going to Mass today, of course. Ayan. Good morning, Janelle. Oo, oh, oh, good morning at good afternoon sa'yo. Alam ko, ikaw... Hi, sorry, good afternoon. You're gonna go to church kasi alam ko, uh, very religious ka din and you're a Marian devotee. Yes. Pero uh, eto na, magsikahan na tayo. Umpisahan natin. Go kay... na. Pinoy, 79% approval rating. Yeah, yes. he's doing a pretty good job. The Filipinos are very pleased with what they're seeing, hearing. Although left and right, meron pa rin controversies, hindi mawawala. But overall, the Filipinos are uh, pretty much happy with their president. At matanong yes. nga kita, uh, May, sa tingin mo ba, is it our business, ang love life ni Pinoy, just because he's a Philippine president? Dapat ba, we, we can, do we have the right to meddle in his private affairs? like love life you know what's happening to him now? Very much like yung movie na American President. Alam mo yon. Yung parang everybody see, kasi he's a bachelor eh. It's not as if we're, it, it's the topic of conversation pag breakfast, no? It's just that everybody also kasi is interested dahil nga single ang ating Pangulo and ang mga tinedate pa niya ay medyo hindi din low profile na mga tao, no? Very, like, recently, di ba? Alam naman nating lahat si Liz Uy ang kanyang uh, naging latest na lady love although sinabi na nga ni Raymond Gutierrez sa kanilang talk show last Sunday, Liz is very much single and uh, mukhang dinasted niya si Pino yun ang cheese niya. Oh, yeah. Kaya naman he was seen very recently naman with a new girl. Oh. Ang pangalan niya ay Len Lopez. Nakita sila nung Monday, nung holiday, na nagdi-date sa Makati. Ito ba yung nagtatrabaho, ito ba yung nagtatrabaho sa bangko daw? Correct. Oh, Isa oh. siyang uh, stockbroker. Oh, oh. At member siya ng isang ano, member siya ng affluent Lopez clan. At ito nang twist dyan, Janelle. Ito ang mm. pinaka-interesting. Oh. Best friend daw siya ni Luli Arroyo. Nakakalo. Ayan, oo nga. Naku, medyo so, ano yung masalimuot. Oo. Oh, oh. Okay, next uh, story naman. By the way, kanina nilalabas ko sing litrato mo habang pinapakita namin si Pinoy. Baka isipin naman tao, ikaw yung dinidate ni Pinoy. Sana hindi. Please naman wag. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Baka ma-chisnis ako. Alright. Oh. Next uh, story. Visconde Massacre. Bakit ba Ayan, nabubuhay oh. itong kaso na ito? And uh, ikaw ba naniniwala ka ba na kailangan ni eh, pakawalan si Hubert Webb? Nako. Kasi ang nangyari dyan, no, nung, nung Saturday, meron pa ang Victims' Rights Group na sinasabi nila yung BOJ daw, yung release nung, nung ni Biong, no, na involved talaga sa kaso because he was... Um, Parang, he tampered with parang evidence. Sin sin yes, sin oh. sinenten siya to 12 years in jail oh, oh. dahil naging accessory daw siya for allegedly destroying the evidence. No, So he was released. And ang sinasabi kasi ngayon ng mga tao is this might be a preview of Hubert Webb's namang possible acquittal rin from the Visconde massacre. Eh, matagal naman na siyang nakakulong because of it. No? And kaya siya naging controversial ngayon dahil din ni-release na si Byong. So kabado ang mga tao na si Hubert will eventually be released also. When, when is... 
Well, mm -hmm. when you say May nakabado yung mga tao that Hubert will be released, does that mean that most of the Filipinos still believe that Hubert Webb is guilty? Because uh, Winnie Monsod, no, si Maring Winnie, also came yes. out with a statement saying that she categorically uh, believes that, uh, no, she believes that categorically Hubert Webb is, uh, no, is, uh, is innocent of the crime. I believe there is because of technology, you know, the the webs had a had a medium to be able to show people who think Hubert is uh, guilty. Um, yung mga evidences na ipresenta nila, no? So now there's a Facebook account kasi made specially to show that. Um, maraming Filipinos, I believe, alam mo naman tayo, no? Pag, pag unang sala, talagang guilty. Ganon agad. Especially dahil high profile din tong family na to, no? But with, with these new evidences that have been presented na medyo nga talagang pinapalabas na yun, si Hubert was in the U.S. from March to October 26, uh, maraming medyo na si swing okay. na possibly uh, baka the finger was pointed ng mali kay Hubert Webb. So it's still a case that's 50-50 uh, no? because then marami rin bagong evidence na, na nilalabas na okay. sinasabi nga, posible nga si Hubert wala dito nung nangyari yung massacre. Alright. At uh, dalawa ata yung pelikula nga ginawa out of this uh, Visconde massacre. Yes. Speaking of oh, pelikula, marami. Metro Manila Film Fest. Ito, ito nag-open to ng Christmas ito, Day. Oo. Oh, oh. 36 Metro Manila Film Festival and I know yes. you're a fan. But you know what? Okay. I I heard about this. Enteng Kabisote Bayon at uh, Vic Soto and uh, Bong Revilla. Bong Revilla. Joint forces for oh, the oh. first time. Oh, so, oh. Kabado si Ai Ai, ang tanging ina. Mm. Oo, oh, Kabado siya. She promoted last week, uh, last Sunday sa The Bus. Sinabi niya na, kasi naman yung dalawa nagsanig puwersa pa. Kaya medyo, it's gonna be a tough uh, Metro Manila Film Fest for yung battle for the uh, top grossing film, no? It oh. starts December 25, of course, Christmas Day, and it ends on January 7. Okay. Um, there are entries that are already out, and yun nga, number top one and two na paabangan ng mga bata, yung um, agimat ni Enteng and Tanging Ina. Okay. Course. Alam mo, sabi nila, kaya doon nagsani po sa tong si Vic Soto at si Bong Revilla, kasi mahal na raw mag-produce ng pelikula, <laughs> tapos nag-apektuhan sila ng mga pirated films, kaya nagsani po sa na you think it's down? What are you gonna watch? I'm gonna. Well, my best friend and I, my tradition kami. We we watch it talaga. We critique it. Ha? As a matter of fact, I blog about it. Um, we're definitely watching Rosario. This is the 10 million film budget film. Okay. 10 million yung budget ng film. Mm. Um, the story about the Lola, I believe, of MVP of Manny Pangilinan. Oh, okay. And ito yung first na movie na venture ng uh, TV5 na movie out, na movie outfit. So oh, yeah. interesting siya. It's a period film direct by Albert Martinez. I think that's one of my top ones that I am watching. Together Ayan. with, of course, Tanging Ina and the, the Sunny Puerza movie. Ayan. There. Alam, the Sunny Puerza movie. Alam yes. mo, wish ko lang, makauwi ako, sana makapanood din ako, pero kung Naka hindi... Naka-favorite ng mga Pinoy, ng pumila ng kahaba-haba oh, oh. para lang manood ng mga pelikula. Padalhan mo naman ako ng DVD, pero wag yung pirated, ha? Wag yung pirated, bawa. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Thank you so much, May, and we'll talk to you again Thank next you week. Thank you all right. See you soon. All right. That was Melina Valdez, po ang ating correspondent sa Manila, Philippines. Kung meron po kayong gustong malaman about the Philippines, she can report it to us. Uh, email us kababayan at la18.tv. Magbabalik pa po tayo. Seryosong usapan. Don't go away.